Hey guys, we are going to Great Wolf Lodge and the kids don't know. It's a surprise for their birthday. So we packed everything in trash bags. So those are our suitcases and we're telling the kids we're going to drop off a donation after a doctor's appointment. Yeah, they have no idea. Wait. Quinn, what can we take for it? We'll flush. Hmm, interesting. This thing has a hotel, right? Yes. Are Wait, we staying, we're staying here? here? Yes. <laughs> For how long? Two nights. Two nights. <gasps> and no uh, this is where we're going, guys. So, <laughs> well, so uh, where's our swimsuits exactly? Oh yeah, about that. Ouch. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't go to the donation place. First. I only brought one plushie. This is a disaster. Okay, guys. Okay. So, so um, here. park. You only brought one plushie. <laughs> That's what you're upset about is you only brought one plushie. That's no! And who was that exactly? Oh, it's Jeezy. <gasps> well, at least it's Jace. Look. So both their birthdays are in December, so this was actually in December, but in lieu of having a big birthday party, we are going to go to Great Wolf Lodge for their birthday. Oh, I am so excited. This hotel is beautiful. It's decorated amazing. Of course, we had to hit the gift shop first thing. It is right there in the front. They have so many cute things in here. So the first thing we like to do is get checked in and get to our room and check out the room, get everything in there. So we're just gonna quickly walk through and get upstairs. Are you guys so excited? I was shocked to get shocked. <laughs> Are you excited? Man, this one works fast. We got the two queen bed room. They also have rooms with bunk beds and stuff, but that was a little bit more expensive. So we just opted to do the two queens, which worked out perfectly. And we got them the birthday package. So they got balloons, they got pins that said it's my birthday and their little ears and a birthday cake. And it was delicious. And even a card from Wiley and his friends. That couch actually folds out into a bed, so that was even more comfortable if you have a couple more kids. The details were so cute in here, even the soap was a little paw. And the kids got a happy birthday poster on the door, so everybody walking by knows it's their birthday. So then we just go downstairs to check everything out before we go hit the pool. And we're just going to wander around and see all the fun things we get to do this weekend.
big restaurant, the Barnwood. It's all locally sourced foods, as far as I understand. Oh, and there's Wiley. Emma had to run over and get a big hug from Wiley. So cute. And they had little events the whole time, different activities that the kids could do set up in the lobby. So they were gonna make a little jingle bell here. And they had a choir singing. There was a little market there with snacks and drinks and stuff so you don't have to go without anything. They even had a life-size gingerbread that you could get for dinner. We did not end up doing that but that was so cool and it smelled amazing. They had a Dunkin Donuts. We were really excited about that. They had Ben and Jerry's ice cream and a candy store. And there's a Build-A-Bear workshop. Of course, Emma was so excited. And they had all the great wolf pals here. And then this is the Magic Quest. This thing is really, really cool. It's a game the kids can play throughout the whole hotel. It's all about wizards and dragons, and they have to go around the whole hotel with their wands and solve all the clues of the quest. They have a pretty big arcade here and you get tickets and can buy those cheap little prizes, but the kids will have fun with this one too. And this is Howler's Peak. It's a ropes course and it's like a big treehouse thing and you are hanging on by a rope. It is quite the challenge. and a rock wall to climb. And you can even mine for jewels at the Moonshine Mine. They have a little bowling alley. It is really, really cute and fun for the kids. And then some mini putt-putt. And if you forgot your swimsuit, they got you covered. There's a lot of little restaurants around with good snacky foods. There's Timbers, and then that's the breakfast place. And then back there in the back is Buckets. We had the cheese curds. Oh my gosh, so good. We had to check out the pool area before we got our suits on and man, it is so cool in here. Has a little bit of everything for everyone. And they got the towels down here for you and even life vests if you need them and they tell you what temperature everything is. So this is the wave pool. The waves go every five minutes. That was one of the kids' favorites. But they have a spot for the little guys with the little slides and the splash pad. And they have a watering hole for mom and dad. But this wave pool is really cool. You just hang out in there and every five minutes the waves are going and here comes a wave. Emma loved swimming into the waves. That was her favorite. On to our first water slide. They were all so much fun.
And the second water slide the kids wanted to go on was this one that you step in and it drops you. I was terrified of this one, but everybody else did it. Here's me chilling by the pool. It is so nice just to relax, have a drink, and watch everybody play. Here's the lazy river. This was Quinn's favorite. You could always find him hanging out in here. Bye-bye, Emma. Now it's our turn. They had another pool that had activities in there with these little walk across logs and some basketball. I'm gonna try to throw this ball left-handed and yeah, it did not work. They had two really big slides and two smaller slides and we just kept riding them over and over and over. Need a little snack break so we brought our own snacks down it's no problem just bring your own stuff and we just left it by the chairs it was no big deal
In the evening, they had a bedtime story session down in the lobby. It was very cute. We got a little food at the pizza place downstairs, and we had some birthday cake. Happy birthday, dear Quinn and Emma. Happy birthday to you. In the morning, this is just a breakfast buffet for everyone. They have so much variety to choose from, and my kids still pick toast and bacon. So on the second day, we started our magic quest, got all the wands and everything, and the kids just ran around having a good time with that. And we had to get our Build-A-Bear, right? One more stuffy. Both the kids took on the Howler's Peak rope course. They did amazing. I am so proud of them. That was really rigorous, actually, but it was really cool to watch them do it. They also had staff members up there to help any kids get through any obstacles that they were maybe afraid of or anything. So we had a little helper to help Emma and Quinn throughout the course. So that was nice. After all that work, we celebrated and went to the arcade, had a good old time in there. Didn't get too many tickets, but they got a few trinkets. I think one of them broke on the way home. You know how that goes. We hit up the candy shop, they got one cup and they got to fill it up with whatever they wanted. To a nice dinner on the second night to the Barnwood. We got these appetizers. Your birthday's over here. Oh. So we're gonna sing you a great wolf happy Aww. birthday and then we're gonna howl at the end, all right? Oh. I'm probably gonna scream. <laughs> you scream. You do it, it's your birthday. <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday from Riley and the crew. We hope your day is special from all of us to you. 
everything was fantastic. We went mining after dinner and you just go into the mine and it's like a mirror maze pretty much, but it was actually pretty trippy. You had little tasks to do to get through the mine that you had to solve, so that was really fun. And of course we had to get an ice cream cone from Ben and Jerry's. We played a little bowling. The kids really didn't know what they were doing. They were just getting gutter balls. But then we started teaching them how to do it. And Emma actually got pretty good. Once she started listening to our advice anyway. We hit up the putt-putt before we had to leave, and it's really nice, actually. They let you stay even after you're checked out to do all of the things. So we did stay. We didn't get back into the pool, but we stayed and did all the activities before we left because they just have so much fun stuff to do. We had an amazing weekend. What a fun family vacation. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad you came along with us. And I really love the Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs>